Hello, YouTubers. It's me. I was. I didn't even know you pressed the word. Yeah. Let me finish my intro. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> hey, YouTubers. It's me, April, and I'm here with my Marquita banana. And here we're in New York City, in Chinatown. We're at um this women's conference. I don't know if you, any of you YouTubers out there, are familiar with the womanly arts experience wait where's my oh shit okay good i got it so i can get into my um get into the uh womenly arts experience um thing shindig tomorrow it's like a two-part it's like a women empowerment seminar it's like really awesome it's really it's really amazing it's not even awesome it's just fucking amazing shout out to mama judo um it does a lot with healing with going through and it's really like like at first, it seems really crazy, and like if you don't, I mean, we my sister introduced us to it, and um, last year we went, and we were receptive to it, but not as receptive as we could have been. Could have been because we didn't know what to expect, and it, you know, you really go through some emotions, and really go through and have to deal with some situations that, um, you know, you're taught not to deal with. Um, and so it really gives you or puts you through exercises in order to express those feelings and express those emotions. So it really gets heavy. Um, and it's in a unique way because they do a lot of like theater exercises and everything like that. So it's really interesting um, as well as empowering you to express who you are and be happy with who you are. Right. And not even just express who you are, but express what you want. And, right. you know, it it really pushes you to acknowledge what you want because a lot of times we know what we want, but we don't know how to acknowledge it. We don't know how to go after it. And, you know, this really gives you all the tools to push. Yeah, to just start, to, Right, to, to get you where you want to be, where you want to go, how you want to feel, how you want to act, how you want the world to get to know you, how, you know, how to reinvent yourself. You know, not for anybody else but you. Um, it, it's really an amazing seminar. I was so excited to go this year. Last year, like April said, we weren't as receptive because I'm like, listen, this whole the the yaya sisterhood of the traveling pants. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's not <laughs> just that, but it's like, uh, it's like very not eccentric. It's just really interesting the activities they make you do or they encourage you because they don't make you do yeah, anything. Yeah, they don't make you do anything. But the activities they encourage you to like partake in in order for like to enable like self healing, enable to um, you know see your good, um, you know see the good in you if you lack confidence in certain areas, how to bring out what you want. Or how to bring out your strengths so that you can achieve what you want. So that's basically what happens. But it's a really, really excellent, you know, two-day weekend. And the right. woman who runs this stuff is um, called Mama Gina. I didn't even know. Mama, it sounds so crazy. But that's what my sister, like I said, first got us into it. So who the hell is Mama Gina? She had us come to this thing. And we were like, oh, my God. I was She's like, listen, whatever cultic practices your sister is into, I don't want no parts of it. But, you know, it, it turned out to be a good thing. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to dwell on this too much because I do want to... Oh, uh, do updates. Yeah, let them know the news. Do you want to tell them? I can't tell them. We can't tell them yet. Why? They're not ready. They're not ready for the fabulosity! What? You can tell them. Okay, so... Ladies and gentlemen, April and I would like to announce, for those of you who do not know, because a lot of you have already seen it on in Instagram and um, the couple of people that somehow tracked me down on Facebook somehow. I'm not really sure how, but... You guys are masters at the art of stalking. <laughs> <laughs> um, as of January 2nd, 2019... 2019. Oh, wait, no. 2016. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. I got caught up in the Matrix real quick. I just lost my train of thought. As of January 2nd, 2016, April and I are to be wed. We're engaged. We gotta make our rings kiss. Get out of here. 
Stop. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Sorry about the ashy hands, guys. I've been washing my hands a lot all freaking day. Um, we are engaged. And um, at this point right now, we actually just sent out the wedding announcement. I mean, the announce engagement announcement. Engage yeah, the engagement announcements. Um, we are currently putting together our engagement party, mm -hmm. which is specifically for our family. So there will not be any of our friends there. We need our families to meet mm -hmm. and we want them to get to know each other. And, you know, we want them to mingle and mix. But um, we do know that for our wedding, it will be um, no time soon. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking more so the order of 2018 because we have to save for what we actually really want. Right. We were considering like, um, you know, doing a justice of peace thing and having a wedding later, but it's just too much of a tendency to like fall into, right. oh, you never actually have what you really want. Right. And so, you know, this is for, for the both of us, like, we it, see it as like a one time, it's like a one time, once in a lifetime thing. It's a one time well, thing. Well, it's once in a lifetime, but you know. Right. I mean, and you know we want to put the effort and 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 energy into creating something we want both that about. magical moment for the both of us where you know we're in our gorgeous uh eggshell colored cream colored dresses, dresses. and um, um we we have discussed a lot of details and we have come to agreement on a lot of things but like we said the wedding actually isn't until 2018 and so we have a lot more planning to do and um, a lot more saving of course we don't want to rely on whatever help our families are going to give yeah, us yeah because there's I know the likelihood of us our families helping is like I don't know slim to none and it's, it's just the fact of the matter that even if somebody does say they want to help us it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to come through and actually do it so we don't want to depend so, on that. Yeah, we do want to. Um, so yeah, we do want to create our own. Bill for right. our own what wedding. we want to do. We um, first started thinking about we're gonna do like a destination wedding, but then you have to take in consideration like everybody's about about it when they're like, oh, we're gonna buy. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna go yeah, to Jamaica. And then, well, and then, then it comes to you have to buy your flight ticket, then you have to take off work. So then we're like, and then, you know, be, like dropping like home, flies. And... Then we'll see the real where the real loyalty lies. Are you with team? Should I reveal the last name right now? No. Okay, never mind. Are you with Team <laughs> Blank? Or are you with Team Blank? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, nobody knows who's taking whose last, last name. name. So that will be, a it's like a reveal party. Right, right. like how they do the um, the ginger parties yeah. for the babies. So the we're going to have party, a gonna revealing have. at the engagement party. So who's and take whose last name? I think that everybody's going to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> what everybody's gonna say. I don't but. know either. Um, there's a big thing. Well, I, I mean, Marquita's family seem to be a little bit more accepting than my family. Um, my dad's family seems to be okay, you know. But um, you know, we'll see with regards to when the whole ceremony and everything takes place because, like, that's like the reality. Like, that's when right, the shit when gets real. When it sets in that, you know, oh my god. April's my daughter is actually woman. marrying another woman. My brother came over a couple weeks ago, and when he came into the living room, he was just like, you know, it just hit me like, this shit is real. And I was like, well, what do you mean? No, like, you guys are like lesbians for life. And well, like, what did you what? think? <laughs> that, I mean, we've been together for quite some time. We both had, you know, girlfriends, especially me, plenty of girlfriends. Um, we both been out of the closet for years. What did you think this was? Like, this yeah. is not a game. This is real life. You know, it's not uh, like a lot of girls in high school. <laughs> yeah, gay, love, I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian, and then next thing you know. But for me, they got like eight kids. I was not. I wasn't out in high school. Nobody <laughs> I was. Knew. Fuck I that. Was like, I was out. Like, so what's knew. up, girl? Nobody knew. Um, want this? except um. My best friend in high school, because I like totally had a huge crush on her, and then I, she kept on talking about this dude. Babe, wrap it up. Oh, let me wrap it up. All right, that's the story for another time about our coming out stories. And like, that's what we gotta do. We gotta do our coming out stories. Right. Anyway, all I have to say. Damn it. <laughs>
that keeps you watching to see when the next <laughs> video is going to come. We do have to do our coming out stories. We've been lagging a lot lately because it's been we're a lot going on in our world. And, but yeah, we've been very busy with a lot. We will be back soon. Um, I can't give you an exact date. Damn, we totally We got a toy review too. Yo, this fucking shit. Oh my god, UPS. I'm sorry for anybody who's working on you. It works in UPS who watches us and views us. But yo. Y'all at UPS, y'all get on my fucking nerves. Okay, we're gonna go now because I had a toy that was a supposed to be coming in for our hey. vacation, shh, 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 and that shit didn't. Shh, shh, shh. I paid extra for that. I get uh, that. Anyway, I get, just apologize. I'm sorry, YouTube. It's okay. We're gonna I'm wrap this up now moment, because. But that toy was supposed to be here, and Wait. I was gonna do it and review on it. We, I was gonna test it out. We we're gonna review on it, but shh, that shit. I'm so pissed. Anyway. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, you guys could track us down on Instagram. I am Mixed Butterfly. And I am. Am I Nurse Lerpa? I think I'm Nurse Lerpa. Oh, Lerpa Alosin. Okay, I'm Lerpa Alosin. Listen, uh, anybody who's on Instagram, I'm really not that. She doesn't Instagram. keep up on it the way I keep up on it. So I'm really sorry about. Instagram. Instagram lover she's an instagram lover i'm on the other hand i barely check the shit i don't even update the pictures on it it's, yeah she really know. doesn't get up on it too often but, it's so more don't be so, so me yeah, that if i don't respond to you on instagram or whatever because you liked one of my pictures and i never get on there i'm mostly on facebook more than instagram all right youtubers so hopefully like, we'll be uh putting up a uh, coming out story soon okay guys all right, smell you later. Bye. And check out Mama Gina's Womanly Arts thing. Yes, if Womanly Arts Experience. Google her. Look her up on Facebook. She's fucking amazing, guys. All right, ta-ta. Take care. Bye. Ta -ta.